Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Delaney. Today's video is going to be a shoe spring trends video for 2024. I'm filming this from my car because if you guys keep up on the vlogs or on Instagram or anything like that, you know there is a lot of construction in my life right now and it's very noisy and very hard to film videos and I try not to make everything a voiceover right now. So I film these little like sit down talking research style videos in the car because I feel like it works even though it's a little different. So bear with me for this era. I'm so excited for this video because I love shoes and I'm so ready for spring and I feel like shoes are always kind of a good thing to research and think about and be in tune with because they can be a tricky thing to piece together with your outfit, at least in my opinion. So I love kind of doing a deep dive on this and getting inspired. I get my inspiration for these trends and everything from social media, TikTok, Instagram, Pinterest, YouTube, and then also things that I'm seeing in real life. I am constantly scouring the internet for clothes, doing selects for brands and things like that. So I also get a ton of intel from just what is on the websites. And then I'll also look at publications like Vogue, Harper's Bazaar, Marie Claire, things like that. And get some info from that and see what's on the runway all those things so i compile it all in a list myself of the things that are really speaking to me or the things that i have seen like the most but of course this is not a complete list there's other things out there and if some things are not your vibe no worries okay and then the way that i'm going to do this i'm going to break them up by category starting with sneakers i'll also put some inspo photos here for you guys and i'll try to link a roundup of each type of shoe in the description box for you guys as well and then if you guys want to see a part two of this where i'm actually styling the shoe trends let me know i can always do one of those videos too it'll probably be a voiceover because can't film those in the car but just let me know also i have to say i'm so like blown away i'm on the last three pages of this notebook and all of these pages are filled with youtube fashion video research that's crazy so lots of videos on here to catch up on if you haven't okay getting started we're gonna talk about sneakers for the spring 2024 shoe trends i'm gonna break this down to four sneaker trends that i have seen the most and have spoke to me the most starting off with the slim profile sneaker i've talked about this in so many videos i feel like you guys probably already know this one it's so obvious but of course that's why it had to be included because it's literally everywhere so just the adidas sambas the gazelles the whales bonner collab with adidas i've seen those everywhere i love them i have a pair and they are insanely comfortable the quality of those I feel like is better than my other ones the Onitsuka Tigers those are so cute I have those as well and I freaking love styling them they are obviously very bright yellow and you would think that maybe that wouldn't go with everything or it would be hard to style but I find them so wearable they are the perfect pop with everything and I think that these like gazelles or sambas or even I think there's like a puma sneaker that's similar in that profile those work so well as a pop of color too I freaking love the way that looks so the green pair blue red yellow anything i just think it looks so good as a pop or if you're more of just a classic neutral person i think the white ones or the black ones look amazing as well but those are just literally everywhere they can be styled with everything i've seen so it can be girly it could be athleisure it could be casual maybe not really dressed up but they are a very versatile shoe and so comfortable. The next shoe trend that I've seen a ton of and I saw this on the runway and everything is just very girly feminine sneakers. So instead of laces in the shoes, all over Pinterest, there's bows and ribbons, ribbons tied into a bow instead of the laces. It's so cute. It's very girly. I am not like a super girly person naturally, but I, I will dabble with a girly trend here or there. And I think that one's really cute. I also like the juxtaposition that it's on a sneaker, which is already not super girly. So kind of having those two together, I feel like adds a little balance that I like. And that would be really cute with shorts or some cargo pants, I think would be really cute with that. And just something really casual or with Dresses if you wanted to be like more on the girly side of that and pink sneakers pink sambas I've seen everywhere pink gazelles so cute I like never really like the way I look in pink so I don't know if I'm ever gonna get a pair of pink sneakers but that one I think they're gazelles 
the one pair of pink sneakers that like everyone has with the little blue stripe those are really freaking cute i love how those look up as a pop of color as well and then even like be dazzling and be jeweling on the sneakers that was a big thing on the runway again i don't know if i see myself wearing that trend ever it really doesn't like speak to me but i did see it and i'm, I'm gonna talk about it here <laughs> okay the next one that i want to talk about is the athletic sneaker the running sneaker I have loved this type of shoe for a very long time because I think it's so flattering. I do really like that athletic look. I think it makes your legs look strong and slim, longer. I just, I love the look of it. Even like a dad sneaker, I've always been into that. So seen a ton of these and it is very much so trending. That specific like running style look of the shoe. Um, some brands that I really like for this and I've seen a ton of for this, Asics is so good they are so comfortable and that's something about this trend in general i feel like these are all really comfortable especially if you're going to go with one of these classic brands because the function of them is so good that's why grandpas and dads love these shoes too and athletes so they look very cool but i love that they feel very nice too they're great for walking a ton if you're going on a trip you're going to sightsee in a city you're going to disneyland whatever it is they're just so comfy which is amazing so asics is huge for that new balance also amazing for that the nike v2k runners are this like white and silver pair of shoes they come in different colorways but i have the silver pair they are so good i'm obsessed with them i wear them to the gym i wore them the whole time i was in new york walking everywhere they're just they're so good and they look so good and i have definitely noticed specifically a lot of silver and metallic details on these sneakers which just ties into that whole athletic runner vibe and it looks really cool okay and then the last sneaker trend that i want to talk about is just the retro vintage look i've talked about this a lot as well and particularly the pair that comes to mind when i think of this is the reeboks that I have I don't know the exact number because I'm really not good with like what is that called the, the nomenclature of things but I love them I'll put a picture here but I love the way that the Reeboks look because they're this like vintage washed white look and they look worn in but also not like they're old but not too old looking and they just look so good with everything they pair amazingly with dresses skirts shorts jeans sweats pretty much literally everything so love them for that they also have very faint details on them of different colorways so they're not super loud they're just really standard basic shoe to me i wear them so much and they're also incredibly comfortable so great again for walking miles in a city going on a trip every day wear love 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 those okay the next category that i want to talk about is heels and i have two styles of heels that i feel like are trending for spring 2024 the first is kitten heels. I have seen these everywhere and I'm so here for it because they're so much easier to walk in. I love the look of a kitten heel because it feels really sophisticated and chic as well. It's not that super tall, more a, like a platform shoe. I also love a platform heel, but they're definitely more obnoxious to me, which is sometimes a good thing. Like sometimes that's the vibe I'm going for with the look. Sometimes that's the energy I want to give. Like we're here to party. But I do love a kitten heel and appreciate it because it feels so put together and classy and like I said, so much easier to walk in. So the pointed toe, the sling back, all of that, it just it looks so good and it's great for workwear. It's very functional and practical and can be styled really cool for going out looks as well. Like I said, it's just a little bit more refined and quieter than a platform, which I can be into. And then the next style of heel that I've just seen a ton of, I feel like it's worth mentioning, is just the slingback heel in general. Like I've seen so many of those and I love those as well. Again, I think this is a super comfortable shoe for me in heel form anyways, a little bit more chic and elevated and it goes again great with workwear. So I love a slingback, I love a kitten heel, I love a slingback kitten heel. And I'm just not a huge heels girl in general, but I, I do, I do like a pair here or there, so I don't have a ton to say about heels in this video, but that hopefully steers you guys where you need to go. <laughs> okay, the next type of shoe I want to talk about is flats, and I also have two types of flats trends for this video. The first is ballet flats. I love ballet flats. This has been trending for maybe like the past two years, I feel like, and before that, I feel like ballet flats were completely out. Everyone was like, what the heck, those are giving me the ick. But now we're like, these are very chic, and guess what? They're also so comfortable. I have worn ballet flats all around for like 
in different cities walking miles again and they have really not failed me so i love them for that i think that ballet flats look amazing with street style looks i also love them as just a go-to shoe in the spring and summer because they look really good with like longer skirts or longer dresses like a flowy dress sometimes a shoe is so hard for me to pick with something like that and a ballet flat I love the way that those look together so hopefully that's helpful to anyone I also specifically have seen the mesh ballet flat as a huge trend I'm sure you guys have seen that too and at first I was really not into it I was like that is giving jelly shoe from my childhood which just was like triggering or something and I thought I was never gonna be into it I thought it was totally not the thing for me I also don't know exactly how I feel about being able to see your shoe through I mean being able to see your foot through a shoe you know like the the plastic heels that were trending for a while where they would get all sweaty and you could see your foot I was like those look really chic on some people and they definitely make your legs look long because it's kind of this illusion with the clear part but I am still a little on the fence about how I feel about seeing the foot through the material of the shoe not like an open toed shoe just looking through the material it's a weird thing but i have to say i recently started seeing more versions of this mesh ballet flat and mesh shoes that i'm actually kind of into so i just ordered a pair from shop bop they're more of like woven like rattan mesh kind of thing and i thought oh those are really cute for spring and summer they feel very chic like i don't know how i feel about the colorful ones and all that stuff but I had to mention it because I've literally seen it everywhere and then the next kind of flat that I wanted to talk about that's trending is a sandal so the sandals specifically are like the two strap sandals so hopefully that makes sense I'll put visuals up here but this is just like a really classic style of sandal like a Birkenstock or something and I've seen these everywhere they're trending I love these in a platform form because I think that I love adding a little bit of height wherever I can and just like a chunky shoe to me has always looked better I don't know if it's my proportions or just my taste or whatever but I think that chunky shoes a lot of the time look amazing so I like this in the chunky form but then again i was just talking about my love for ballet flats which are not chunky at all but i did have to come around to those so there's something going on here but anyways the two strap sandal that's a great staple and classic to have for this spring and summer and like a neutral color i think it's great i love like a white pair for this or black or brown also if you wanted to have a fun pop of color that could be cool the last category that i want to talk about in today's video is boots which I feel like most people don't generally associate boots with spring and summer, but I am such an avid lover of boots and I wear them all year round. So we had to talk about them in today's video and specifically two types again. So the first is going to be the slouchy boot and I love those because I think that they look very artistic and structural and they just give fashion energy to me. So I am so here for that. So I've seen these a ton on the runway and when I read up in the articles and everything so it's just a boot that is like scrunched down and it has you know the little I'll put a picture I don't know what I'm trying to explain it but I think that this looks so cool I love wearing boots in the spring and summer with skirts and dresses I think that it looks sexy and it's fun and it's more of like a going out look I probably wouldn't wear that to go run errands or something but I do love it for going out to some sort of Outing, whether it's a dinner or a little party or whatever I think that's so fun so if you guys are into that like structural really I don't know like the texture of that is just very pleasing to me so if you're into that vibe try out a slouchy boot this year and then the last one that I want to talk about which I feel like has been trending for so long and like always will be especially in my heart because I grew up in a place that is very sort of western but cowboy boots are still here to stay they are still slaying and they're so fun in the spring and summer they just give me like feel good vibes I think because I grew up going to the rodeo and it just the rodeo was always so fun and it just gives me those those vibes of like oh it's like rodeo season so a pair of denim shorts or a denim skirt or even like a flouncy white shorter skirt or skirt with a pair of cowboy boots is so good in the spring and it just gets me in the mood for summer it's like a prelude to summer so hopefully i'll be pulling out my cowboy boots soon and wearing them because it gets me excited and that is it for today's video i hope you guys liked this i hope it was helpful let me know if you want to see a part two with the styling also let me know what other videos you guys want to see for the upcoming spring season i always love your requests i write them all down i don't get to them all because 
it's hard but they're there and hopefully one day I'll get to them all so thank you guys as always for watching love you all and see you soon